Ooh, okay, very familiar. Is the screen visible? Yes, visible. Yes, visible. Beautiful, sir. right. So let's understand how to make our money work yes, for sir. us, right? There are multiple ways of making our money work for us, but today I am going to tell you one very critical way of making our money work for us. But before that, I just wanted to ask you a very important question: uh, Is there any quickest way to double your money or my money? Is there any quickest way to double my money? The fastest way to double my money? A lot of surprising uh, expressions. Okay, some are smiling. Okay, so good to see. So, is there any quickest way of doubling money? Any answer? No investing in stocks. Sorry. No, 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 no quickest way, sir. No quickest way. No quickest. <laughs> <laughs> no quickest way very good so let me now tell you the quickest way i found out to double money yeah you i hope you also would like to know right you also want to double your money but i found out a very quickest way to double money and the quickest way to double the money is to just fold it and put it back into the pocket it will rip it will okay look as two notes one note becoming two notes just fold it half yeah that is the quickest way to double one's money there is no other way okay to double one's money the fastest way so let's just go ahead okay uh, with some more interesting so we we need to do a balancing act right so we are working very hard okay our money also need to work for us so we need to do some balancing act okay where our mark, money is also working when we are sleeping right our money should keep on working uh so in this i would say that when we are thinking about our money getting worked okay it is very important to understand that which financial quadrant is our money going right there are four important financial quadrants and understanding these four important financial quadrants and investing into these four important financial quadrants will make our money okay more effectively working for us so what is that first financial quadrant let's start with the first financial quadrant okay which we say is guaranteed equity right now when we talk about guaranteed equity equity itself is fluctuating equity is into markets equity is into companies equity is into stocks okay is there anything which is existing in india currently which says guaranteed equity you are investing in equity and there is a guarantee in the equity so does equity have a guarantee do we have an instrument in india which can give guarantee in equity no, no. So, yeah. The second thing is guaranteed debt, right? That means what is debt? Debt is an instrument which is a bond, okay, and it is being uh, issued by a company for taking money from public as a loan, right? It can be government issuing, uh, okay, PPF. It can be a postal deposit. It can be bank issuing a FD. Okay, it can be also an equity oriented investment, a debt oriented investment into markets. So that is one more segment. The other segment that we have to play with, we need to understand is non guaranteed debt. Now, when we say debt, debt is a loan. Loan has an interest. What is non guaranteed debt? Yes, there may be a performance payout which comes to non guaranteed debt. This is another quadrant of financial quadrant that we need to understand. The fourth very important is non guaranteed equity, right? Equity generally are, are non guaranteed. Okay. So we also would like to know what all things fall into each one of the segment. Currently, in guaranteed equity, we don't have any solution, right? Where we say that you invest in equity and your money is also guaranteed. There is no such solution. But second, very importantly, in guaranteed debt, we have a lot of options fixed deposit, PPF, government bonds, okay, treasury bills. Then in Tata A life, we have SIP, GRIP, FG plus, FG pension. All these come under guaranteed debt instruments. Okay, now when I talk about uh, the non-guaranteed debt instrument, it comes under corporate bonds, okay, debt mutual funds. Then uh, there is a product in Tata A life called DSP. Then we all know we are very preview to this product VIP and SVIP, okay, value income plan and smart value income plan then participating insurance plan. So wherever, wherever there is a bonus component that comes under non guaranteed debt, right? And wherever there is a guarantee that comes under guaranteed debt. 
Now the fourth element that is okay, and also you can have some ULIP plans with income fund, which is also non-guaranteed debt, which invest into government securities, okay, money market instruments, and other places. Now coming to the non-guaranteed equity, which is stock, ELSS, mutual fund, and ULIP, right? Where these segments fall under. So if I have to place my money. Okay, I need to understand that which quadrant at what time I have to play with. Right. Should I have all my investment into quadrant four? Should I have all my investment into quadrant three? Should I have all my investment into quadrant two? There are many people who don't explore all the quadrants. They just get struck to one of the quadrant which actually hinders our money to take the advantage when the other segments are doing very, very good. If I'm struck with guaranteed debt, which is like fixed deposit or one particular guaranteed product, I might lose the opportunity of market and economy growing because my money is not placed into non-guaranteed equity, right? So now what to decide, how to decide, how to make my money work? So what we are going to do is we will, okay, be introducing to you a 3D solution which actually takes care of all these three, right? Which is ILP, right? Your guaranteed debt. If you want something in guaranteed debt, if you want something in non-guaranteed debt, if you want something into equity, ILP is one such solution because it has all the gamuts to cover. So there is one such solution which has got all these dimensions covered. And that's why we say it's a 3D solution. So we'll explore it a bit later. Okay, how it is a 3D and how it is. The main reason of ILP that has come into picture is we need to make our money work, right? As we are working very hard because ILP has a very particular advantage of capital appreciation. Whatever investment you have done, there is an, a possibility of your capital appreciation and it also gives you returns which are by far beating inflation, right? What is inflation? Inflation is nothing but our daily rise in the prices, right? You would have seen petrol 10 years back just at 60, 70 rupees. And today you are seeing petrol at 110 rupees, for example, right? You would have seen one cage of rice at 30, 40 rupees available today. You might be paying 70, 80 rupees for one cage of rice. So all these are inflation, right? And all this inflation is as estimated by the government. Yes, somebody has unmuted. Anything to say? Somebody has unmuted yourself. Uh, Salahuddinji, anything you want to say before I? Yeah, thank you. Sure. So, as you are aware that then we are. Yeah, Salahuddinji, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Okay. So I hope uh, there is no uh, question. So I'm for, uh, just moving ahead. Quickly. Yeah, you can continue. Sir. Yeah, I'm moving ahead quickly because of the time posity. As we say that capital appreciation is required in such a way that it beats inflation. Today, inflation rate in India is 6%. If you go to a bank, okay, put a deposit at a rate of 7% and inflation is at 6% and if you pay a tax of 10% on the interest, then ideally you are with zero returns. In after putting deposit in bank because 7% interest minus 6% inflation after one year is equivalent to what you have today money, what you require next year after one year money. So inflation is same, right? The rise in the prices, if your investment is not beating that rise in the prices, then there is no point in investment, okay? Because you are remaining where you are after one year also with the investment. So we need to find out a solution which beats the inflation. That is where capital appreciation happens. So there where with that larger okay, quadrant into picture, we have come out with ILP. Now this is a very interesting slide. I want your focus to this slide, which says last 20 years returns in different instruments. Okay, Because historically, every person has a choice. Some like bank deposits, some like gold, some like to invest in property, some like to invest in index funds, okay, and then uh, some want to invest in equity. Now, if you look at this report very carefully, okay, and this is provided by Morgan Stanley, right? This is a very international renowned, okay, uh, uh, what I should say, uh, uh, internationally renowned financial institution, 
okay which gives a lot of guidance to banks and okay other financial uh, companies so they have done a research and they have understood that post tax ret returns this is not pre tax returns these are all post tax returns because fd has a taxation property has a taxation okay gold has to also be okay the profit has to be booked under taxation so equity has a taxation so it is post tax returns the compounded annual growth rate of asset if you look at very carefully for 5 years 10 years 15 years and 20 years you would see that at all times equity has beaten majority of the instruments here right it has beaten the returns of gold it has beaten the returns of fd it has beaten the returns of property it has beaten the returns of okay index funds okay and and you can see the inflation for that period is also given for 20 years if i take it as an example the last column equities after tax post tax has given around 12.9% of yearly returns gold has given 8.4 bank deposit has given averaged 5.5 after tax property 6.2 after tax capital gain tax and um, index funds 5.5 and inflation at this point of time is 5.7 so you can see that if your returns after tax is this minus inflation then majority of the in, in, in okay instruments are not beating in inflation right the returns post inflation is very very less so what is very very important is when you are young when you are working hard okay the time is for you not to miss the opportunity to make your money work for you before you retire right and the one best instrument which comes out okay historically not for 5 years 10 years 15 years and 20 years historically in the world is equity so taking that as a clue okay taking that as a clue we will just continue that uh, how human mind doesn't realize the impact of percentage these are all percentages right you might say that sir uh, go equity is 12.9 gold is 8.4 it's, it's just a difference of 3% or 4% right property you said post tax is 6.2 maybe 7 okay and then gold is 8.4 so it's just 1% how does it matter over a period of 20 years so i'll be showing you something very very interesting how does it matter over a period of 20 years every 1 rupee percentage of difference okay you can see this beautiful slide which says that if you are properly understanding the power of compounding okay which indians are very well known for we understand the power of compounding much better than any other economy right it says that any instrument if it is invested with a return of 12% today right in 20 years would become 10 times today if i have invested a 1 lakh rupees okay by end of 20th year the same 1 lakh at 12% growth will be 10 times 10 lakh rupees right if i invest into an instrument which is at 5% today over a period of 10 years the instrument would have given only two times or by 20 years it would have given only three times so you can see the difference between 8% and 12% just a matter of 4% you can see the difference that how much how many times by end of 20th year this instrument would make our money and how many times at 12% this instrument would make money so anything at 8% at 20 years time frame you have given 8 1 lakh rupees in, in investment at 8% and for you waited for 20 years it would have become 5 lakh rupees but if you would have invested wisely with 2% extra uh, sorry 4% extra which is 12% okay an instrument which can give 12% okay on an average then by 20th year you could see it would move to 10 times the same 1 lakh would have become double then what 8% would have done here you can see that interest rate is not double the interest is 8 to 12 it is just 4% points movement but the compounding impact made the returns double in the same period this is a very very interesting slide which tells us that how if somebody at an engage okay is investing at a 15% instrument okay which has a probability of giving 15% of returns by end of his retirement a 30 years guy by end of his retirement 30 whatever instrument invested that at 15% would become 66 times so if 1 lakh is invested it would become 66 lakhs by end of 30th year 
with 15% of compounded annual growth rate. And you can see multiple, okay, almost 100 times, 100 times, 100 times. The more the interest rate, the lower is the period to get to 100 times of our investment, right? So this is a very, very important that we just only look at interest rates, but we don't look at the impact of 1%, 2% difference in the interest rate, and we don't take that a little bit extra risk, which gives us that extra okay booster into our financial okay returns so this is a very beautiful uh, concept which explains that our human mind doesn't realize the impact of percentage and that's why we work very harder for our income but we don't put our instrument we don't put our investment to an instrument which can work hard for us uh, yes coming back uh, in 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 every aspect of life okay we explore then uh, there is a growth phase of the instrument. Then to a particular state of time, then we sustain the returns and then we retire, right? So what is very, very important is when we are young at age, we need to explore different options. Okay, we need to ensure that we are investing into growth. And then before retirement, we ensure that we sustain that growth. And then at retirement, we should enjoy our returns okay uh across so let's now take it forward how do we do this life staged based portfolio rebalancing so young mid-age okay uh i i should say before retirement pre-retirement and at retirement a different life stage based portfolio how do we do rebalancing uh now when we say equity a lot of people have there in mind that equity is fluctuated equity okay has a risk into it absolutely equity is having an up and down into it. But we need to understand, is that right? For long term, equity a good instrument or a bad instrument? So what is very, very important is how much money I should put it into equity. There is a very simple thumb rule. Okay, and the thumb rule says, whatever is your age, okay, you minus it from 100, that is the money you should put it in equity. If you are at age 40, okay, minus 100, 60% of your savings should go to equity. If you are at 60, or 50, 50% 50 of your money should go to equity. If you're at age 60, 40% of your money should go to equity. So this is a simple thumb rule. There are many ways of assessing how much portfolio should go to equity. But yes, equity has a potential to give you higher income, higher returns. Equity has to be managed properly. So equity percentage has to be a thumb rule. And the thumb rule says 100 minus your age is the equity portion. So if I'm talking to someone at age of 35, 65% of his savings can get into equity and this should be relooked every five years, right? Every five years, this should be relooked. As the age increases, your equity portion should decrease. That's how you should plan for, okay, making your money work for you. Uh, in deciding any financial instrument, there are three things which are the golden triangle, what we say, the SLR triangle, safety, liquidity, and returns. Right, there are multiple instruments that we invest. What is very, very important is we also need to look at, we can't ignore safety, we can't ignore liquidity, we can't ignore returns. Liquidity means whenever you want money, you can withdraw. Returns, which are inflation beating. Safety, where my capital is safe or the strategy is safe. And what is very, very important is we also require to look at an instrument which also provides protection because all the investment is being done when I am working. When I am not working, if the in income is stopped, how do my family sustain? So protection is also to be looked at in this golden triangle. So what we are trying to say is we are bringing in a solution which gives protection, which has liquidity, which has okay best of the returns. And also you can okay very well assume the safety of the instrument because it also takes care of multiple ifs of life right if anything happening before i reach to my wealth creation if anything is happening it always have that safety factor into it which covers multiple ifs of life it's not just only life risk it covers multiple ifs of life so friends okay uh let's do a quick recap till now what has happened uh we started with understanding that we need to ensure our money is working for us. What is very, very important that we have also understood that there are four quadrants and every quadrant 
has a different instrument to place. Any instrument which can match more than two quadrants is beautiful instrument for sure. Our investment should be always inflation beating. You have seen historically equity beating all other instruments over a period of longer period. And the good part of equity is you don't require huge capital. OK, so anyone, everyone can afford it right now. What is very, very important is OK, when we go to customer, how do we convey this to the customer? OK, and there is a beautiful technique called encyclopedia technique. Now, when you have seen this encyclopedia technique, it says that if you ensure you get seven yes from the customer, the eighth yes would automatically be there with the customer and that is the solution where you need to introduce. So I'll introduce you to this encyclopedia technique where seven is is equal to automatically eight S. If you make your customer say seven times yes, then automatically the eighth time the customer is ready to accept your solution. So you need to ensure in back of the mind it is seven times that you need to get yes from the customer before you launch any solution to the customer. So this is called a famous encyclopedia technique. So Let's get started, right? So when you go to customer, OK, you can start your conversation in this way that uh, in Tata EA, we believe in taking suggestions and views from all of our esteemed customers. OK, we take a lot of feedback from our customers. I would appreciate if you could, OK, give your suggestion on a basic survey I am doing today. OK, in designing a better comprehensive solution to you. OK, I'll put forth few questions. You can share your opinion on that. Very simple survey. So I am going to a customer. Now back of the mind, I know that I'm going to give him an inflation beating returns, right? I would have a conversation with customer saying that today, OK, we upgrade our products by taking a customer survey. OK, I want to take some opinion from you. I have some basic survey to do with you. And this survey is for a better comprehensive solution. For any customer, right? If you're OK to participate in the survey, I have just seven questions. You just need to give your opinion. Now, what is the first question? The first question is, do you think family financial protection is important to you? So what would be the answer for any question? Any customer? When I ask yes. a question, the answer is yes. 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 Do you think oh, family financial protection is important to you? Yes. So he says protection is important. Second, OK, is savings for future is important? The answer yes, is sir. yes. Yes. yes, yes. OK, the third question, is it important for savings to give good yield, good returns? Yes, yes. It is in the mind. OK, the fourth question is, <laughs> would you like to have a ease of withdrawal, liquidity, regular income flow of your investment for various liabilities across your years? Yes, very in agency it, it is to be. It is very much required. Very good, sir. Liquidity. Okay, fifth. Okay, is flexibility of investment important? You can decide when, how many years to invest depending upon your future expenses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we are talking yes, on sir. flexibility yes, here. Sir. Okay. The sixth question: Do you like to have tax benefit for investment, like tax-free returns? Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, the last please. question. The last question is: Do you like to have a big legacy of wealth passed on to your next yes. generation when you are not around? Yes, everybody says yes. everybody. So once you get all these seven S, the golden question comes here. Okay, is question eight? Would you be interested if I can show you a solution which meets all these seven? It talks on yes. protection, it talks on savings, it talks on growth, it talks on liquidity, it talks on flexibility, it talks on tax free returns to a particular extent and fund value. OK, a big legacy to your next generation. Right? It will so, show interest. Definitely, so, opposition will lead. So absolutely. So, when you put these seven points, this is a beautiful technique of getting a nest. This is nothing but our product USP. You are selling our product USP in form of a question, in form of a survey to the customer. And the eighth answer by default would be yes. Because when I say that all these seven are in one solution, somebody would definitely like to say and say, yes, let me, please show me. I want to hear it. Right? So now there are some objections for equity, right? When I talk about equity, there is always an objection. Okay. Uh, every person take a decision because of only two reasons in life. 
whether it is your education whether it is your marriage whether it is buying an asset all these things whether coming to tata a life also all these things would have happened because of only two emotional okay factors in life one is fear the other one is greed right okay you invested something because you felt that it will give you better returns that is greed or you felt that if i don't take it i'll miss the opportunity it is fear right somebody taking a policy it is fear that if i am not there around my family will not sustain so i need to take something for my family it's a fear somebody investing into equity why because they know that it is inflation beating returns it is greed so we see that in traditional pro products in term plan in term plan we address only fear in traditional products okay we address to a little extent of greed but not fear but what if i say there is a solution today which handles both fear and greed equally equally to a fullest extent it will handle the fears ifs of life what if i die what if i met with an accident what if i am disabled what if i okay i am no more okay what if i am critically ill fear it takes care of fear the second thing is what if i get better returns than inflation it takes care of greed so in this roller coaster of choices okay emotional decisions okay in equity what mistakes happen right in equity what mistakes happen please be mindful okay uh, we enter equity in optimism we are excited when equity market is going up we are thrilled when equity market is going still up we buy more and more okay buy 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 when that euphoria is there okay successful inter investors recognize this high point okay and then they withdraw from this okay but lot of people doesn't understand this and no. they enter market when everything is high when euphoria is high they enter the market when it is very very high okay and then uh -huh. what happens Ma market gets corrected slowly because it is phase no, no, no. of market market uh, has to get sorry. corrected i request others to go on mute if you are not having any question yeah shahul din sir you can go on mute yeah thank you so markets okay have up and down now many people enter they don't enter when markets are actually correcting they enter when market is very very high right now what happens when market is high when you enter it is bound to correct right it has to correct and it has to go up again out of over a period of time so lot of things happen that in the market okay when markets are falling people with who doesn't understand why it is falling the basics they are having a lot of emotions of anxiety fear depression now what should i do they are panic they give up okay and a lot of people say that market investment is hopeless right now why because market is very down at the end at the end they sell at a loss in the market okay and i want to exit whatever with the loss whatever is left out let me exit get me out of this but this is a point where market you need to invest right and slowly the people who invest here then you see them hope relief optimism right so you invest there is an optimism and then over a period of time you will get all these emotions and then there is an optimism so what we are trying to say is which time you enter the market is very very important if you are entering the market when the market is completely low corrected that is a good time when you are exiting when the market is high that is also a good time but majority of people enter at the wrong time and that's why there are lot of fear okay versus greed which comes into market right now what we are trying to sell is what is the solution for this the best solution for this is not to do okay if you don't have time if you are not technically equipped don't invest into equity personally now what is the answer to it but i want equity returns because equity returns are far more better than all the asset class over a longer period over 10 years period over 15 years period over 20 years period i have seen equity giving best of the returns right so what is the best way to do is you have to understand a solution which is managed by an expert here we require an expert to manage right because advice has to be taken from expert management also need to be done by expert right so we don't enter into market directly we enter through an expert and that is where we are saying that we capitalize the greed so you need not have a fear going a bit forward 
okay with some more uh, interesting points what is the best way okay of getting highest returns is asset allocation it is not stock selection it is not market timing it is not any other factor it is asset allocation so what we are trying to highlight here as per the financial analyst journal which says that if you want good returns what is important is selecting the right asset allocation is very important and the first thumb rule comes into market is diversification don't put all your money into one particular industry one particular stock diversify with different industries right and to diversify you should have a lot of knowledge you should have a lot of time the best thing is to do is you do not need to put a lot of brain into it you we have a professional fund manager who does this second very important aspect in the market okay that we are talking one is diversification okay the second thing that we are talking is in any given day in any given day you will see in in market today you can see bsc sensex 45 years started at 100 points today it is 74 75000 points that means market is growing okay but it has ups and downs over a period of time every day you will see that there are top gainers and top losers in the market so what does it mean that if you observe the ticker every day okay the green and red tickers every day the best day in the market should be when all the stocks are green but is it happening no even in the best day of the market there are some stocks which are negative some are some of companies which are negative which would be degrowing in the worst day of the market also when there is all it should be all red every company being red but it doesn't happen in that way even in that worst day of the market also there are some companies which are still brought in right let's say corona crisis when everything every every industry was bleeding hospital industry stocks were growing right pharmaceutical industry stocks were growing so that is the opportunity what equity brings to us dear friends that when things are wrong also you have some green shoots that is where when things are right there are a lot of green shoots so what we require here is diversification because diversification into different industries will help to mitigate the risk there there is always a uh, stock when industry which is degrowing there are always one stock one industry which is growing okay what is important is how well you diversify your investment to it right now in our in our okay tata ai life we have a beautiful diversification in is managed by our fund managers you can see that we invest in financial services we invest in computer programming it we invest in manufacture we investing in chemical industry food products pharmaceutical okay non metallic civil engineering telecom so you take any of our fund it is diversified it is not that we keep in one industry or one particular stock we diversify so the best way to capitalize returns in market is diversification and you need not put brain behind it because fund manager who is capable is already doing it so we do diversified portfolio so the second very important aspect to earn money in market lot of people ask that what is a good time to enter in the market okay and and then the answer to it is by ken fisher the founder of fisher investments okay in us he says that never ever time the market your returns will decide and how much long you are in the market it is how many years you are in the market it is not when you entered the market you might have entered when the market is very high but still you can make returns if you stay for a longer period in the market by selecting a right equity so that is where we come from that longer you stay invested the lower is the volatility in the market and that is going to help you to give returns and you can see that uh, in 1990 to 2016 okay we would have seen only five times corrections happened there is a dip five times from 1990 to 2016 okay you could see some years in 95 there is a correction 96 there is a correction 97 there is a correction again after that in 2001 only there is a correction in 2008 you could see this lehman brothers okay the crisis which has come in okay and then 2012 okay and 2016 so you could see that there are dips and there are ups this is common in market there is fall and there is low and there is high but what is important is as the time frame is long of investment the number of dips or the volatility becomes less in the market so what we say is okay the drops have been far and in between if the time frame is longer 
So stay invested, stay diversified. That is the mantra for equity. It is not when you enter the equity market, you can enter even today, still get the market returns if you stay long. It doesn't matter when you enter the market. It is how long you stay in the market, right? And this is an example which says that how long you stay in the market and what is the probability of risk of losing money. Okay, if you stay in the market for one month, okay, uh, positive returns are 62% and then you might lose 38%, 38 times or 38%, okay, opportunity you might lose. So there might be 10 cases where in one month, okay, there is a chance that you either get 62% returns or you lose 38%. If it is for one year, you get 75% chance of winning positive and 25% chance of being negative. If you are investing for 10 years, 95% there is no loss in the markets, right? Uh, and, and there is only 5% of chance. If you are staying invested for 15 years, the loss is always mitigated. There is no loss. In, in, in a perfect diversified portfolio invested for 15 years, there is never a loss in equity. That is what historic returns are showing, right? So what does it mean is staying long, will help you to come out and enjoy the better returns than other asset class. So staying invested for a long period is very, very critical. OK, so just taping it forward. Uh, why in India at this point of time? This is about equity that I wanted to talk. OK, and next five, 10 minutes, I would also wind up quickly that why investing in India is the right time at this point of time. The first thing is you should know the theme, time and trend. Is it a right theme? Is it a right time? Is it a right trend? to stay invested in the market. The theme is we could see that, OK, uh, we are in an era where robust infrastructure developments are happening. Digital economy is the highest usage in Indi in, in world in India. There are a lot of rise in startup companies. OK, heavy boost to manufacturing industry and a lot of spending, high consumption. Everybody is earning and everybody is consuming. So there's a rotation of money in the market. So this is the right time that economy should invest because if there is high consumption, there is a lot of requirement for manufacturing goods. If a lot of people are using, okay, going and shopping, okay, the, the same shopping items has to be produced. So a lot of money will go back to the companies and, and the market rates of that companies would go up because consumption is very, very high, right? So this is the right time to invest in Indian market. The second thing is we are only not saying that international monetary fund is also saying world bank is also saying that india is the is going to be the third largest economy soon by another 3 4 years today we are in 2024 another 3 years you will see india's gdp being third largest yeah india's gdp being third largest so i have muted everyone uh, so what I wanted to say to you is this is the right time. If you don't invest now, if you don't get your customer invest now into equity, they miss a big, big opportunity. Currently, we are at $3.7 trillion economy. India poised to go to by 2030, another six years, $6 trillion economy. So in this double phase, six, 76 years, it took India to come to $3.6 trillion economy. In next six, seven years, we are going to double it. So you can see this is a right phase of growth for India. If you are not investing in equity, you will miss out the opportunity, right? So these are some of the data points which says, and finally, the okay, we have seen the theme. We have seen the time. Is it a right time? Now let's see the trend. The trend now is in Tata Air Life is showing a, one of the best trend of equity investment portfolio. Uh, we are the only life insurance company. Please make a note. We are the only life insurance company in India which has got four star, five star rating through Morningstar International Rating Agency. Okay, where 90% of our funds are four star and five star. Okay, you go to any other life insurance company, they don't have anything beyond 40% as four star, five star. Right? But in Tata A Life, we have a proven track record. Since last 17 years, you can go very well see that our mid cap since inception is giving 16% returns year on year. It started in 2007. Since 17 years, our mid cap fund is giving 16% returns year on year. 
right it has seen corona it has seen uh, okay uh, trend of uh, america crisis it has seen two elections now third election as well okay it has seen lot of policy changes it has seen ukraine russian war all those things gone by every year 16% return since inception or mid cap fund has been given since 17 years dear friends now if you come and see at multi cap 2015 now we are almost 9 years in still last line years the fund has given almost 26 to 27% returns every year okay there are from funds like large cap 15% whole life mid cap 20% okay top 200 fund 19% returns 19 to 20% returns year on year so imagine how much money these people would have made by their investment by investing in tata ia equity so we have a great track record so what we say to customer is that if you don't invest at this point of time you will lose out on the opportunity of the upcoming biggest growth we are the only company which has got highest four star five star rated okay funds in india we are very proud to say that and we are also thankful to the okay management of this investment team okay which has actually been giving the best of the returns yeah so i am just changing the screen just a quick confirmation are you all able to see the screen and what is appearing on screen, screen for you screen. yeah Morning perfect yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> perfect so wait, let's welcome to the solution now so which solution okay you can give all those things which solution can give you security first cover high life cover savings growth liquidity okay and then we said uh, legacy planning okay we said flexibility which is that one solution which gives everything the one solution gamut is param rakshak pro solution right it is a comprehensive protection plus wealth creation there is no other company now company started duplicating copying this product because of the success of this product okay i don't know if you have realized it or not 5 years back we launched this product param rakshak series today hdfc has copied this product today icici has copied this product still they are not able to beat this product because we have made some beautiful okay usps in this solution that nobody else have got an approval to do that right so it covers death it covers terminal illness it covers accident death it covers disability all ifs of life all the fear factor is covered in this okay the good part to it is the returns of okay uh, you can see the returns are based on market so you have seen the fund performance the greed part is also satisfied now some of the biggest advantage with many of our leaders and advisors miss to tell to customer is this policy is a zero mortality policy why i say that if you look at the illustration carefully we refund the mortality and allocation charge back to the customer from 10th year onwards that to two times invested back into this policy so we give 100 times coverage we collect some mortality for that coverage we reinvest that mortality charge also back to the customer if the customer is staying in the policy for 10 years and above this is one solution in india which we can proudly say that the allocation charge mortality charge both are reinvested back into the policy after 10th year onwards and women has lower premium high maturity benefit there is vitality discount year on year if customer is okay uh, observing and also encashing vitality then every year the premium would reduce for the customer this is a very unique solution where premium will reduce every year okay because this is not a training program you please go back to your trainer and ask how vitality will reduce premium every year to your customer in renewal this is a beautiful option if properly executed every year the customer premium would come down but fund value will go up right and there are multiple flexibility to choose ppt pt 5 ppt 10 ppt 6 ppt 7 you have multiple options multiple policy terms and you can take life cover till 100 years and up to 2 and 1/2 lakhs of annualized premium including gst if the customer is paying all the returns all the wealth is tax free for him right throughout so let me now quickly uh, tell you that it, yeah the age group is 18 to 65 so anyone between the age group with a income of uh 5 lakhs can very well jolly well take this plan uh, 18 to 65 now what is that we are trying to showcase to our customers is one slide i will go these are some slides which says all in one health uh, wealth protection uh, what is just i just wanted to show you is one example where how pr pro returns would impact 
just look at this example carefully. This is a 35 years person paying for 12 years. Okay, policy term he has chosen 40 years. That means today is 75. He has taken this act, right? And they have taken multi cap as a fund. He has taken multi cap as a fund. Some issue taken is one crore. Premium is just one lakh, eight thousand rupees per month. Okay, and he is paying for 12 years, and 40 years is the policy term. You can see the fund value growth at different percentages, at 12 percent, at 15, and at 20 percent. Okay, if I look at uh, fund growth at 12 percent returns by end of 40th year, the fund growth is 2.1 crore. The policy has been taken for one crore. The fund value at maturity is 2.1 crore. Right. If anything risk happens, one crore is always there. But if nothing risk happens, also two crore of fund value is there at 12 percent. Slightly at 15 percent, the fund value will be 5.4 crores. If the returns sustained for 20 percent, OK, then the fund growth would be around 25 crores. It is 25 OK, crores, which is a huge returns that customer can get. Now, the beauty is after 50 year, customer has a liquidity option. So customer can choose to withdraw a portion of money for his emergencies. Children education, he can withdraw some money. OK, children marriage, he can withdraw some money. For his retirement, he can take it as pension. OK, throughout life, if something happens, there is coverage. So this is a beautiful solution which gives equity returns, which gives high protection from day one, one crore for one lakh premium and riders attached. And also very importantly, OK, it also gives liquidity. And if customer sustains this throughout 40 years till 75, he gets a lump sum of 25 crores if he doesn't withdraw anything from this plan. Even at 15% returns, he is sure that he will get 5 crore rupees as a lump sum, which can be utilized for his future or given to his next generation as a legacy. So one solution which has a beautiful proposition and then this is all in 3D solution, which I talk the debt disability and any other kind of risk happening with diversification, this solution comes to us. Uh, last two slides for me, which says that there are a lot of myths. There are a lot of people when we go, they say that I will take term plan separately. I will invest in mutual fund separately. This is what I hear from a lot of people, right? I have been into many calls. I have heard this and then we demystified. Is this is it right that I, I should not take PR Pro? OK, because it has mortality charges. OK, why should I go to PR Pro? Let me go to term plan separately. Let me go to mutual fund separately. Right? Should I go to PR Pro or should I do this strategy? Now, what is right is here in your in front of you. I have taken different age groups 35, 40, 45. Please look at this very carefully. I have taken our term plan. OK, a customer choosing one crore life cover, 90 lakhs ADB extra. Accidental death benefit. If accident death benefit happens, 1.9 crores will come to the family. If he is accidentally disabled permanently, then 90 lakhs will come to the family with return of premium. Right? And the policy continues. So I have taken SRS. The premium for 35 age group is 82,000. Okay. The premium for 40 age group is 98,000. And the premium for 45 age group alone is 1,21. This is standalone term insurance in India. And the coverage I have taken is still 85. So 35 years person covering till 85, 40 person covering till 85, 45 years person covered till 85. Taking a standalone term plan, these are the premiums. Now, if they come to PR Pro, what are the premiums? We slightly ask 46,000 extra here. We slightly ask 40,000, uh, 60,000 extra here. We slightly ask 70,000 extra here per annum for next 12 years. Now, what are the returns in PR Pro at 8 percent? OK, 1,29,000 invested for 12 years, 14 lakhs, 15 lakhs invested. OK, the returns at 8 percent is 1 crore 40 lakhs. You can see 1 crore 44, 1 crore 35 with the investment. Now, the other thing is if I am having a budget of 1,30,000 with me and I have taken a term plan of 82,000, what is left out money with me is 46,000. Now, if I go to mutual fund and invest this 46,000 at 8 percent return, with a fund management charge of 1% deducted. The fund value in mutual fund with 46,000 money that I have with the budget. So I have a budget of 1,30,000. I invested 82,000 in a pure term plan in Tata A Life. The balance money I'm investing in mutual fund. You can see the returns are 1 crore. The returns are only 1 crore. Right? That means PR. 
<laughs> that means PR Pro. Sorry, somebody is talking. That means PR Pro would give you 40 lakhs more money. Okay, by giving you same cover with 8 percent returns, the same returns. So it beats mutual fund return. That means the second, tenth year onwards, whatever mortality is getting reinvested, what is allocation charges two times getting back and reinvested. If mortality charge is ten thousand. on 10th year it is invested 20000 back into the policy so likewise if i look at likewise if i look at okay the returns would be much much oh. higher and i have taken it at 8% because i can show illustration right the same budget if i do term separately mutual fund separately then i will get less returns okay the same budget if i go to pr pro i get more returns i am getting 40 lakhs extra in this case 40 to 50 lakhs extra in all these cases and that is the reason why preferring pr pro is much better than going to term separately mutual fund company separately and investing and i have taken this with same interest rate returns of 8% yeah so this is the last slide which i just wanted to present to all of you uh, so any questions now you are open to ask for another 5 10 minutes i am available